Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI. In the last video, we have seen linear regression with one variable. Uh, now let's proceed and understand linear regression and their other types. So let's get started. There are four types of linear regression algorithm. The first is simple linear regression which we have already seen in the previous video. If you have not seen, please go and watch that video. I'll keep the link in the description below. Then the second type is multiple linear regression where we consider more than one input. Then third is the simple polynomial regression when the line starts taking curve and the fourth one is multiple polynomial regression where a curve with multiple features. So let's understand these algorithms in detail. And we're also gonna see the demo on these algorithms so that you'll get the best insights of these algorithms and also understand how they work. So make sure to watch this video till the end. The very first algorithm that is linear regression, a simple linear regression with one variable. We have already seen a demo for this. So what exactly this multiple linear regression stands for? A multiple linear regression is where a more than one input variable is considered to improve the accuracy of the model. Do you really think that the price of the house is only depend on the size of the house? Don't you think that if you provide more than one variable to the algorithm, more than one input to the algorithm, then our accuracy may improve more. So price of the house is not only dependent on the size, but it can be also dependent on the factors like number of rooms, Yes, the age of the house, age of the house, number of rooms, or also the status of the population living in that area. Don't you think that? So in simple words, we don't gonna consider only one variable, one input. We want more inputs so that we can improve the accuracy and that's what the multiple linear regression is. As you can see in the table, this is the data that we are going to train our model on where we have more than one input variables now. We have size of the house in the square feet and we also have number of rooms, which is a column two. So we have X1 and we have X2. Now we have two features that we are gonna consider. That's why I'm calling it as multiple linear regression. It is not simple linear regression. Simple linear regression is considering only one variable, one input that is size of the house. Now we are considering more than one feature uh, that is number of rooms going forward you can consider more than two as well three four five features as you increase the more number of features your accuracy may increase and the last column is the y column which we want to predict that is price of the house in the thousand dollars again right so x1 x2 input and y is our output 300 square feet house having one room can cost around eighty thousand dollar similarly 500 square feet house having one room again can cost around $130,000. Then 600 square foot house having two rooms can cost you around $180,000. So this is the sample data which has been given where we have size of the house and number of rooms based on the prices are also given. So this is again supervised learning where right answers are given, right? Right answers are given and you need to find more right ones is supervised learning. Let's jump to the demo part and understand how can we implement the same. Okay, I'm on the Jupyter Notebooks. So we have seen simple linear regression where we considered only one variable. Now let's see multiple linear regression where we are gonna talk about more than one input variable, X1 and X2. If you remember, what is the accuracy that we have got with simple linear regression? Let me write it here on the notepad. Let me open the notepad so that we can compare the accuracy that we are going to get with the different algorithms. If we change the algorithm, then the accuracy may change. So let's note them here. So I'm going to say simple linear regression on training data. What is the accuracy that I have got? And on test data, what is the accuracy that I have got? So let me note it here. Let me check that. All right. As you can see one variable and the output the X and Y that we have prepared and what is the accuracy that we have got on simple linear regression is 2818.96 let me note it here on training data and what is the accuracy that i've got on test data let me check that it is 3041.42 all right so let me check the accuracy on multiple linear regression now again on train and on test data similarly we'll compare it for other algorithms as well okay 
as i've said we have uh, two columns that is size of the house and number of rooms so if i consider more features let's see if accuracy improves or no i'm gonna ignore the warnings so let me run this cell shift enter and this is where i'm preparing x and y as you can see i'm using dictionary in python and x is containing two features now size in the square feet and number of rooms 301 it also contains number of rooms now 501 602 this 2 is number of rooms 600 is size in the square feet y is same as before this is what the actual price in 1000 square feet let me execute this i'm again using linear regression the model is not yet changed the library is not yet changed i'll execute this it's very easy model is equal to linear regression i'm preparing my model then model dot fit if you can remember all the magic happens behind the scenes when i use model dot fit this is what my training is when i say model dot fit i provide x and y which contains my data so x and y is my data and this is where the training takes place my model is trained now let's evaluate for evaluating my model i'm using house price predict function where i'm taking size and number of rooms as input and uh, based on this we are going to predict what is the accuracy that i'm going to get with this model i'm just calling model.predict function here to understand the accuracy of my model and i'm passing size and number of rooms as input okay and i'm using interact functionality that is a widget ipython widget let me uh, execute this so you can see i have interactive widget where i can provide the size of the house and number of rooms here um, let me try one of them I'll go up I can see size of the house 300 and number of rooms one I'm getting eighty thousand dollars let me try this 300 and one Num number of rooms one what is the cost that has been predicted by the model now is 300 square feet and one room house should cost around one twenty eight thousand dollars and what is the actual value it is eighty thousand dollars which is really bad let me check the accuracy 0.83 is nothing but 83 percent we are using model.score to evaluate our model again this is the new function that i have introduced here i can use model.score and pass x and y to evaluate my model out of 100 so 0.83 is nothing but 83 percent so accuracy that i'm getting here is 83 percent now okay great now let's see the residual sum square error that i'm gonna get and that is 2759.94 this is the residual sum square error that i have got i hope you remember what do you mean by residual sum square error which i have already explained in the previous videos now let me note this error here so if you can see the error is reduced compared to the simple linear regression right okay if you compare this with simple linear regression on train data this is the error that i have got and with multiple linear regression on train data this is the error that i have i'm, I'm getting uh, so this is comparatively the error is reduced 282759 right let's evaluate our model on the taste data now so this data is not shown to the model what do you mean by taste data taste data stands for where you have not exposed this data to the model while using model.fit okay so this is the new data that i'm gonna show to my model and let's see how it performs on the taste data okay i'm preparing x test and y test same thing again as you can see it's nothing different right so this and this is same i'm preparing x and y but here it is training and here it is for testing a new data i'm preparing in x and y x test and y test and uh, let me execute this let me check what is the accuracy i'm gonna get i'm not using model.fit again okay i'm not using model.fit again if i use model.fit again that means you are again training it all right i'm just using model.predict so let me check the accuracy the residual sum square error is 3325 that means the accuracy is decreased and error is increased residual sum square error is 3325 which is really high okay so on simple linear regression on taste data this is the accuracy 3041 is the error that i've got and on the test data in multiple linear regression i've got 3325 error on test data is increased right as you can see all right let me check the score 
and accuracy i am again using model dot score to know the accuracy on x and y x test and y test so if you check the accuracy on testing data i have got 0.80 that means 80% accuracy here i have got what is the accuracy that i've got if you see 83% accuracy that i have got i'm just writing 83 approximately i'm not writing in decimals 83% that i've got where uh, on test data the accuracy is reduced and i got 80% in simple linear regression, we didn't use model.score, so let it be for now. But looking at the sum square error, you can easily predict the score as well. So this should be very close to 83%, somewhere around 81, 82, and boom, that's it. So this is what we have used a second algorithm that is multiple linear regression. The algorithm is really not different. It's the same algorithm that is linear regression, but now we have trained our model on multiple features. When I say features, multiple inputs multiple columns number of size of the house in the square feet and number of rooms okay then the question also arises then should we stop here definitely you can consider more some more features if you want you can consider x3 as the locality okay the type the kind of people living in that area then x4 could be the age of the house and so on you can consider some more features and uh, you can test the accuracy definitely the accuracy will increase as you provide more features more columns all right that's it for now we haven't yet completed regression algorithm in the next video we'll compare all these four regression algorithms and we'll see which one is best and which gives us the best accuracy perfect thank you and bye bye